Yeah, man. If Canelo had to said, I ain't fighting nobody until they get vaccinated. Oh, my gosh. What? 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 Our ancestors would have woke up from the grave, man. Our boxing ancestors would have woke up from the grave and be like, Fred, get him. Get him. <laughs> I ain't even lying to y'all niggas, man. Man, you talk about what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's up, man? <laughs> Why? What's up? Let's call these people. Let's make this fight happen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Mr. Benavidez, man. Man, what's up? He ducking. He ducking, man. What's up? I, I, I love, I love, I love the people. I love your guests, man. Yeah, man. It's it's just a shame, man. That uh, I, I I was shocked he said that, man. Because I, me knowing Jamal Charlo, all these years I've been covering him since he was some of nothing. They've always been aggressive. You know, they've always been aggressive, and I'm shocked that they uh that they're not. Yeah, no, but yeah, man, let's 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 call them. Yeah. Let's make this fight September, Charlo. Yeah, I'm with uh, it. Caleb, man, whenever he wants to do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, and, and I don't think I, I, in my humble opinion, I know this not. It's going. I think Canelo gonna leave Caleb playing at the altar. You know, I really, I don't trust Canelo. <laughs> I don't. I yeah. really don't. I really don't, man. And uh. I, I hope and pray that something cracks. Hopefully, Al makes something happen. Hopefully, Jamal. I'm, I'm going to clip this up, too. So, so what do you have to say to Jamal for saying that you have to be, David Benavidez has to be 25 and he has to get vaccinated? You know what? At the end of the day, man, I think, you know, uh, Charlo, man, a good fighter, man. Uh, man, he should try to, uh, he said he's coming out of one to 168. That it's a good fight for the fans, man. It's a good fight for both of us, man. It'll be a super hard uh, fight for both, you know, mm -hmm. but we need to make it happen. We need to make it happen. We need to see who's the best at 168. Uh, why not? No, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And we don't have to worry about belts because people they are going to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The belt, that too. And But they're going to want to sanction this fight. They're going to be they're going to be like begging Al Heyman or Louis the Coopers, please. Or no, do you not? You don't have Louis, but you begging you and whoever else got Jamal Charles. Please, can we sanction this fight? Please, can we sanction this fight? Because it will be the biggest fight in boxing. Exactly. Let's give the people what they want, man. They want to see this fight, man. Man, you know what? Uh, they somebody came up with the little clip. You know, when uh -huh. they're announcing Charlo, uh -huh. they're announcing David. Wow. Fuck, man. I was like, oh <laughs> shit, man. I'm excited to see this fight, bro. Me, me too. I'm excited. You me know. Too. Me too. I mean. Man, you know what Charlo's gonna bring to to the table, man. It's it's it's, it's good, man. What David's gonna bring is gonna be good. The the winners are gonna be the fans, man. It's a, man, I think there it's gonna be good, man. I think we're gonna even have a second fight, bro. You know, because it's gonna be that good, bro. No, that, that's a great and the title of that fight should be called Pure Violence. Pure yeah. violence. Oh, in blood. Oh my man, ain't nobody gonna give in that fight, man. I just don't want to be the person win or lose that Sunday morning. So I don't because y'all got to go okay, do some shit exactly. to win that fight. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, there's going to be no losers, man, because no. you know they're going to give the fans what they want, and and like I said, you know, it, it, it's going to be a good fight. Yep. People want to see good fights. They'll right. forget about the the loss or whatever, you know. Right. But let's not be afraid. Let's uh, let's uh, make this fight, and and you know, I, I mean, we're thinking we're going to win. We are going to win, you know. Mm -hmm. So why not? We're going to get ready for that fight, and it's going to be exciting. No, it's, it's, it's going to be mad exciting, man. And uh, I'm going to clip this up for Charlo, and I'm going to send it to him. I'm, I'm going to text it to him. Let's make I'm gonna, it. I'm text and, it and to let him. me tell you something. Yes. You know you you know who did that flyer? Uh -uh. I made that poster. Oh! I made that poster. <laughs> I fucking, yeah, so, yeah. you know, for the people, I just want to leave it clear, man. For the people that think that we're ducking Charlo, we are the ones, you know, that are, so you know, he said he's coming up to 168. He said that he wants to fight David. Oh, wow, that's a good fight. But I was the one that made that poster. Let's do it for September. Mm -hmm. You know, September should be a good, good fight. Yeah. And and the fight will be in Texas. So that's a perfect location for that fight. He's from Houston. You're of Latino descent. It makes perfect sense, man. Man. <sighs> exactly, man. And there's nothing but love, man. No. It's just make this happen and win the best, you know, and we're ready to take big risks, man. We're not afraid, you know, we're here to, um, 
claimed the 168 pounder, mm -hmm. and uh, we got to go through all these good fighters, man. Right. It's not easy, right. but what do you do? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not, and to fans, it, it, it's not of, it's not a risk for fans. It's like, man, we honor y'all for taking the fight. Exactly. You know, exactly. the fans. Gonna, no it's it's going to be a standing no ovation. Yeah, I, I, I exactly. remember. I remember at the Sean Porter Keith Thurman fight at Barclay, the crowd. The crowd stood up and applauded for Sean Porter after he fought that fight. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. They applauded exactly. Sean Porter. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Those yeah. are the good fights. You know, like I said, let's bring all those good fights, man. Uh, let's stop all that, you know, trying to uh, get easy opponents and, and try to build, you know. These guys are all the way on the top, man. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Like you said, you know, you guys were saying Fernando Vargas, man. Yep. Fuck, you, that guy was not afraid of nobody. Nobody. He got knocked out, came back, and fought another big fight, you know? <laughs> yeah. He, he's, he's a legend. A, he's a, and he's a legend now. He's very re revered in boxing, you know what I mean? And everybody knows him as ferocious, you know what I mean? Ferocious, you know what I mean? So, and and, and that's how, obviously, uh, David wants to be remembered, you know, and... uh and he's penetrating, and and the and the beautiful thing I like about this now because now it's a competition because you're literally penetrating his fan base. Exactly, you get, like you're literally you know? talking to Jamal Charles fans right now. You know what I mean? Exactly, and I love them, man. They're uh -huh. good fans, you know. Uh -huh. And you know every opinion they have, man. You know, I I you know it's good, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we want to show uh respect and you know we want to show that we're be the better fighter mm -hmm. and 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 at the end of the day you know uh they everybody has their own opinions and we respect that you know right. i mean everybody has their fans and mm -hmm. but you know once uh david beats uh charlo uh those fans are going to start believing in david you know right, right. and if it's the other way around it's, it's going to be the same thing you know right so at the end of the day man the fans are the ones that are are going to uh, win in this fight man no the the fans are the big winners and and it's gonna be hard for for jamal charlo to accept another fight now because every fight that he accepts is going to be a lesser opponent than david and people are gonna be like and he's gonna have to answer the questions why you didn't pick david why you did this why you did that you know exactly look at uh eddie hearns now he's talking about a plan he had a very poor performance you know mm -hmm. he thinks that he should fight david benavidez before he fights canelo I I think that's a bright idea, you know. Yeah, I think anybody, whoever wants to take that fight, man, we'll we'll take it with whoever, you know. Mm -hmm. I think David right now is a, at a good level, and I think he could beat all these guys, and that's why we're trying to fight all these guys because mm -hmm. we think that he can beat them. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. not thinking about money, we're not thinking about belts, you know. Mm -hmm. Fuck all that, you know. Let's just show where we are, where we at right now, you know. So well, it's, it's, um, I'm excited, man. No, we, we definitely apply the pressure. We definitely in applying the pressure. And uh, no, hey, we are. You guys. Thank you. Let's make, let's make this happen. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate yeah, it. Was a wonderful night. I want to thank all the fans uh, that are, are against us and they're, they're the ones that support us. Uh, we're going to work hard so we can capture those hearts, man. Mm -hmm. We're definitely working hard, really hard. Appreciate you, man. Enjoy camp tomorrow. Thank you, buddy. All the time. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks. Thank so you. Man. Thank you yep. for the call, man. All the time. We're taking my call. Oh, thank easy. You. Yeah, man. Hey, so you never know who's watching the show, man. We got to make this fight. We got to make this fight. I Everything you're saying is right, Buddy Lee. I want this fight. And Buddy Lee, can I come down to Texas in September and we go to D DGs and throw some ones in there? Can we do that? Can we do that one time? And then Saturday night, no, we got the biggest fight in boxing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Can we get suited? And I ain't got no media credential no more. I can hang. Buddy Lee, we.